Hi, my name is Diana. I'm really excited to be here. Do you see this girl? This is me. Some 20 years ago, I promised her that one day we are going to combine passion and career together. Hi, I'm Joe, celebrity chef and restaurant partner of Hail Mary Pizza in LA. I am Kenesha Green and this is I Am Not a Chef. Hi, I am your host, Kenesha Green, and this is I Am Not a Chef, where 12 amateur cooks come together to battle it out to win $5,000 and the bragging rights of the I Am Not a Chef champion. Now, who can really bring it with the best with less? Hey guys, welcome. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Good. Great. That's great. You guys excited? Very yes. excited. Hi, my name is Adriana. I am born in Brazil. I grew up in Brooklyn and now I live in Queens. Yes. yes. Okay, great. Is it like the first line for serious people? <laughs> um, I am pretty funny in the kitchen. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to make a little bit of a fool of myself. Hi, Nikki. How are you? The contestants will be randomly assigned to form three teams, blue, orange, and yellow. So you're all at your station and you are about to start cooking. So I would like to break down the rules before that happens. So each and every one of you will be making four different meals. So it will be a super salad, the appetizer, the main course, 
and also a dessert. You all will have about five minutes to decide who's going to be making what. You will also have 60 minutes to complete the entire challenge. All right, guys, you all have five minutes to start planning now, so go. Turn over your card because there will be a sabotage and see what that is. Each team gets its own sabotage. The orange team starts cooking with a 10 minute delay. The blue team is cooking without electric appliances. And the yellow team is allowed to use four burners instead of six. On your marks, get set, cook. Hey, uh, not you. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> She's trying to sneak and cheat. <laughs> she, she came back so fast. That was so good. So don't forget, yellow team, only the four burners are working. Yes, I don't like anybody in the kitchen with me, but obviously I'm on a cooking show, so I'm gonna have to work with other people. The blue team is preparing a salad vegetable rolls, lamb chops with mushrooms, and bellinos with melted white chocolate. Something smells really good. What are you here? Thank you. What do we have over here? Red onion. Red onion. Mm. Is something burning? Nothing's burning from us, no. Just our love for food. Begins. Our burning desire. Your love for burning food desire. is burning, huh? I think burning is our desire to cook. You have all the ingredients. You get to do whatever you want with them. What I do in my kitchen is my business. If I'm going to burn something, throw the window open, who cares? Right up. Oh. Very carefully. That's how we move the hot potatoes and the hot water. Because we have a little bit of a technical difficulty here. Hey, they got pots and pans on the stove. They're seasoning things. Is it enough? It's getting there. Is it garlic? Prepare. Sorry? Is it garlic? Love garlic. Oh, so you already. As long as Anti inflammatory. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, 15 seconds. For y'all, 15 seconds. The orange team gets into action. They're making quinoa salad, grilled vegetables, fried red snapper, and chocolate chip cookies. Kiki, hola. Are you guys have using this? We're, no. we're no. this train there. It was funny, you actually have two for the team. Yeah. Are you dressing your fish? I am going to just slightly fry it first, and then it's going to be some seasoning. Ooh. What's for dessert? Who's responsible? Are you making dessert? I'm making a cookie. Oh, what cookie? Um, a chocolate chip. I'm staying by this table. <laughs> oh, look at that. I can't see anything back there, so what are you guys making? Um, What's your plan? So, he's making stuffed mushrooms for the appetizer. Okay. So what are you stuffing it with? Uh, I'm doing the car and onion and parts of the mushroom itself. I'm making a grilled chicken. Okay. My mom uh, made lots of uh, dishes with herbs and meat, so um, I always loved, and we had a garden, so I always loved the eggplant dishes that are stuffed with meat. The last time you went over there. All right, guys, almost 30 minutes left on the clock. How quickly I can make a dinner. The best with less, I get that. Some desserts are and awesome. I did. <laughs>
one second up front. of the orange team burned herself. Not much time left. And the orange team has to finish their main course. Fantastic. We are excited to celebrate International, International Blue, Blue Team, Team Day. Day. <laughs> <Did> you <laughs> you know what? Never mind. But okay, great. <laughs> what did you guys find challenging in creating these dishes? Time. 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 Really? So it wasn't a lack of Time, ingredients or anything? Time, not enough space. Mm. Uh, nice Stolen, not so hot. Not so hot. Stolen, not working well. We had some challenges, but we had a strong team. Yes, Very I see that. Team. I can feel that. All right. And you guys can individually start plating. Okay. This is the I'm not a chef salad with a citrus vinaigrette. Fantastic. No good job. I like that. All right. The appetizer is the creamy vegetable rolls with some vegetables. A lot of vegetables are creamy. Uh, the lamb chops with mushrooms and potatoes. Melted white chocolate and oranges. Aftertaste. I have a salad. This is a healthy quinoa. I roasted the vegetables and I incorporated with the quinoa. And uh, the dressing was the lime juice with the vegetable oil and um, the sprinkles of the oregano. Thank you. 
This is my sexy vegetables. <laughs> I was simulating the little grill look and I was going for a sweet with, with heat. So you get a little bit of both. You didn't see food quail, I want to see food. Uh no, not only. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, hi, this is an Asian inspired red snapper, lightly um, battered in flour and fried very lightly. I used um, Worcestershire sauce because I noticed yesterday that there were no Asian things around, but then I did some research and found that Worcestershire is anchovy inspired, and so a lot of the um, fish sauces that we use have either oyster sauce or uh, anchovy, and so I just substituted that instead. Um, with, um, I used regular pasta. We, can, we invented the Chinese invented pasta, so um, instead of you know traditional Chinese, so we just used what was there and um, made lo mein and topped it off with a little bit of um, okay. yeah. Thank you. Okay, to end <laughs> to end your night, um, these are some uh, chocolate chip cookies white chocolate chips, milk cho chocolate chips, and a little, just a little bit of pecan. Awesome. Okay. Nice. 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 Oh, and sea salt. Oh, and sea salt. You got it. I am ready. Yeah. Let's go. And now let's see what you guys can think. We got appetizers. This is Korean Chocolate and milk chocolate banana pudding infused with oranges and topped with a fresh whipped cream. So Pat made this salad, right? He did. Pat. It looks like a chocolate I salad. adore Pat right now because he is such a character. It's nothing really spectacular. No, but I do like it. I do. I think in a bowl, tossed all together, it would come together way better. Um, again, just a little more chop on that kale. Mm -hmm. Kale's really tough. Uh -huh. So if you don't chop it or massage it, mm -hmm. it's too too chewy, too tough to bite through. Interesting. But I like, I like everything else in it. Okay. I, 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 I like agree, if you toss it, it's probably gonna be more flavorful. I don't know, I, I love my kale very thick. <laughs> and hard. Uh, I like to buy, I like to hear my kale crunch. So I guess I'm okay with it. But it's, it's cool. It's nothing crazy. Um, that's it. That's all I got. I'm ready for the next one. Okay, right, let's, let's go to the next one. <laughs> it's missing some flavor. Yeah. It's a little bland for my liking. The presentation is awesome to me. I love the leaf. I love how she garnished. I love how she garnished with with. with <laughs> Color. There you go. I personally like it. I just think it makes it pop a little bit. But um, um, the taste of it. Bland. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely is missing gold. Yeah. But I like what she was going for. Great idea. Mm -hmm. Good presentation. Looks beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Right. Not much white. flavor at all. I'm sorry. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I don't like potatoes, but I'll try these. My daddy's potatoes. This team, all personality. Mm hmm. A lot of personality, but. Yeah. It's, it's weird. I'm... Okay. All right. Next. Lamb chops are good. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked. Needs a little more crust on the outside for me, but perfect on the inside. Flavor, again, needs more salt. And just more flavor. The onions were a nice touch. Did didn't do it. Though. Like has no taste to me. So, uh, no. Yes, I, I agree. No that, that's my only um, issue with this as well. I love the presentation as well. Thought it was cute. It was creative. Just not enough taste. Yeah. And that's my only thing. <clears throat> and like you said, the lamb could have used a little bit of crisp. Nice on the 
side. So yeah, we need that little crust on the outside of that meat. I actually like it. Yeah, it, it looks, looks super it. dense it looks to start off. A little dense, but it doesn't take away from the taste. Again, there is no regular flour there. Maybe that's what the coconut flour makes. The, I don't know what y'all talking about. I, I love it. I like yeah. it. Oh yeah. Let me taste the white chocolate. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm. More white chocolate. Mm. That was good. I have nothing to say. Nothing bad. Presentation is very cute to me. I love it. I very think it's awesome. horrible. I love it. I don't know why. It's just like it's a lot going on. It looks like an art, a piece of artwork. You know? Picasso. Okay. Picasso. <laughs> they actually look no, they actually taste better than they look. Yeah. If I saw Agreed. them in the store, Agreed. I would have not paid attention. Ah, but once I'm I'm forced to eat it, I actually love it. Love it. Love it. Soft and soggy, it's overcooked. Mm -hmm. it's overcooked. The flavor is nice. Yes. The flavor is really good. The cilantro definitely adds that touch, that kick. You is get the that... lime, the acid of the lime, just to like brighten it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Keep it fresh. And that's chickpeas? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. They have chickpeas? Canned chickpeas, yeah. I'm very surprised. This is oh, actually okay. very good. Yeah. I can yeah. see myself eating this as like a little snack at home. Mm -hmm. It's good. I mean, I like quinoa, but I'm not like a super huge fan of it. But the way how she definitely prepared it, and with the ingredients, it stands out a lot. And I love it. So it tastes really good. All right, so I I, I like fish. Um, I, I love stew fish. Um, I feel like there's something missing, certain taste missing, and I don't know if it's me, but it, it tastes. To me, it tastes a little raw. To me, fish or the fish. The fish. Fish is good. I don't know. It falls flat. Yeah, yeah I think it's definitely missing a flavor. Missing a lot of stuff. Right? Maybe they should have marinated from inside. We didn't have the time to flavor. But then again, it doesn't matter. Fish only cooks like for 20, 25 minutes. Um, they could, they didn't have to keep it marinated for a long time, but definitely could go through it. I think my, my big issue is I can't differentiate the flavor between the fish and the noodles or their lo mein. Um, love the idea of trying to use non-Asian ingredients and make it into an Asian dish. Love the presentation. Was super excited about fried fish because I love fish. It just fell flat. Flavor was bland. Uh, maybe she could have taken it out of the oven two minutes before, but if you like crispy, then it's good. I taste the salt. The sea oh, salt no. adds an extra nice flavor to it. I could get down with that cookie. I can too. Really good. Good. Normally I like soft cookies, but this one's really slapping right now. I like. Crispy cookies, but this is not the type of cookie to be crispy. I think she overbaked it. Yeah. The color still pale, so it's hard to tell. It seemed like it would have been under, mm -hmm. but it's overbaked, which is probably why she served it with milk because <clears throat> it's super dry. That's creative. I'm and good for that. never should you put white chocolate in a chocolate chip cookie. Creamy. Well, for what it's going for, if it were going for a, a cheddar broccoli, yep. Is it potato? I'm mad at that. Yes, there is a potato. It's not bad. I'm not mad at that. I don't really like cream of broccoli soup, but that's that's pretty good. I, I like cream of broccoli. It definitely tastes better than the ones that we buy at the store. That's for sure. So much flavor. Yeah. Like. You can feel the love in it. I'm getting depth of flavor in there and I don't know what it's coming from. They also said that they changed the game plan because something happened. So yeah. double points for the creativity. Right, so that when I walked knew. over there, yeah. she initially had broccoli sautéing with onions and stuff in a pan. Yeah, he changed the game plan. And then when I went back That's over there, she had hurt. it in a blender and I was yeah. like, what's happening? Oh, so she, she grilled it or sautéed it first mm -hmm. and then she was like, no, let's just puree. and. No. Get 
Okay, and it came out really good. Maybe, Real good. maybe it being sauteed gave it that extra flavor. Caramelized yeah, the vegetables a little, a little bit, bit yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what we're tasting. Right. What do you think of presentation? It's simple, it's but what else can you do? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, say. I could use some croutons yeah. on that thing. I mean, if it wasn't in a bowl, then I'd be like, oh, snap, but it's in a bowl, so. But I liked it. Yeah, I agree. Oh my god, this is really good. I think the pickled pepper really brings out the flavor. How did you pickle it so quickly? Quick pickle. Heat up a little vinegar, sugar, spice. It's really good. Mm. Then they slice your veg, throw it in the pot, let it sit five minutes. Together, yes. Yeah. Separately, Separately no. no. Mushroom doesn't have taste, it yeah. doesn't have soul, mm. but together, they if you put the whole piece other. together, it's very, very well dressed. I like the salad. If you yeah. eat it together with chicken, that's, that's it's where it's it raw, so just be careful with that one. So it's undercooked. You see it? It's very undercooked. All that red. Mm -hmm. Close to the bone, you gotta cook that longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The breast, I'll however. Try the breast. I'm more of a leg guy, but. Me too. Well, leg woman. This chicken is not good. It's missing some flavor. Um, Seems it's like tender. No, the no taste. No salt. No salt. But if you do it together with the salad, kind of. Pile it up. Here's the best thing of the dish. <laughs> yes. Or like orange. Orange. <laughs> stop. Stop. No. <laughs> it was horrible. Mm -mm, don't say that. I like the breast. Presentation is good. Presentation was nice. I like it. So many flavors. It's not too there. sweet. It's not like. I'm getting a little sweet. bitter on the back end. The orange is nice. Come oh on, it seems like you would like oranges. Orange zest? No, <laughs> in there is, it's nice. It's a nice touch. I don't like the peanuts. The peanuts also walnuts. I think. Pecan? You either go orange and nut and no chocolate. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Do you want more? Mm -mm. I don't like the pecans. What's going on with pecans today? Is that but, the thing? Congratulations for the first challenge. You all it great, some better than the others. Flavor-wise, was almost there. Need a little more seasoning. Not everybody agrees with me, but I would eat it every day, twice a day, I swear. It just was not my favorite in terms of taste. It was lacking a certain flavor. 